This is a particularly nasty variety of spider. Their bites are extremely poisonous, so stay away and cast Richter Sempra to stun them. This is the larger and meaner cousin of the fire crabs. They belch out fire at an alarming rate and will also periodically shoot a fireball that will bounce around and explode in a shower of flame. Multiple castings of Richter Sempra will stun them for a short period of time. Try to cast Flipendo on these four buttons. Let's try practicing aiming with the mouse to cast spells. Press and hold the left mouse button and move the mouse to aim the magical targeting particles. Harry met up with Ron's sister Ginny and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author Gilderoy Lockhart was signing his latest book. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. The reward room has been permanently opened. See how many beans you can collect. Harry Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room, and even though he is a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before traveling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Use the arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up and down. Catch up to the snitch and then use the left mouse button to grab it. Being hit by a bludger or pushed by another seeker will slow you down and the snitch will fly further away. Catch up to the snitch and then use the left mouse button to grab it. As Harry examined Riddle's diary, words began to form on the page. Harry was entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. And Harry replied, This is a save book. Walk into them to save the current state of your game. When you faint, your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save book. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. When you see the Flipendo spell symbol, let go of the mouse button. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. Mudblood the nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on the wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. Harry lay awake for hours that night, wondering, could he be a descendant of Salazar Slytherin? In the second week of December, Professor McGonagall collected the names of those who would be staying at school over Christmas. Harry, Ron and Hermione signed up. They heard that Malfoy was staying which struck them as very suspicious. The Christmas holidays would be the perfect time to use the Polyjuice potion and try to worm a confession out of Draco. The news that nearly headless Nick had been petrified spread through the school like a dark cloud when everyone got back from holiday. The first years moved around the castle in tight-knit groups, afraid they might be attacked if they ventured out alone. A furious trade in talismans, amulets, and other protective devices was sweeping the school. If a ghost can be petrified, the students thought, then no one is safe. In the meantime, Harry had learned that Draco Malfoy was not the heir of Slytherin. But if it isn't Draco, and it isn't Harry... Who is it? Harry had always known that Hagrid had an unfortunate liking for large, monstrous creatures. But he was equally certain that Hagrid would never mean to kill anybody. Yes, there had been another attack, the worst one yet. This time, someone had disappeared. It was Ginny Weasley, and another message was left on a wall. It said, her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts would surely close now. Professor Lockhart had been given the task of rescuing Ginny, but Ron and Harry were beside themselves with worry. They had to do something. So they hurried toward the Gryffindor common room, where they could devise a plan. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. 
Hogwarts was back to normal with only a few small differences. Defense against the dark arts classes were cancelled and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Weasley was perfectly happy again. Press on the yes button to accept the trade or the no button to decline. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. The Lumos spell creates a temporary light to help navigate dark areas. Chocolate frogs replenish some of your stamina. They also taste delicious. This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 new bronze cards, you're given a permanent stamina increase. You can cast Flipendo to push objects around the world. Try casting Flipendo to push that trunk over to the ledge. To move around the world, press the arrow keys. Then move the mouse to aim the spell. Once you see a spell symbol appear, you can then release the mouse button to cast the spell. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. Pressing escape will also display your current gameplay objectives. 